hello guys uh, in this series I'm gonna be showing you how to implement a very simple e-commerce website and in every new series we're gonna be implementing uh, different functions so this project is going to be an ongoing project so in this series we're gonna be focusing on displaying the products and each product with the details such as the title description and the price and we have the add to cart button as you can see uh, our cart holders will automatically update it whenever we add something if we hit again if we hit several times it's not gonna change that's because we're only incrementing the quantity as you can see in this one here we have 10 item in there and we have the prices the subtotal so if we change the quantity the price will change and it will affect all our project like the total and all that if we finish with that if we happy with what we have in our cart and wanna check out it's not yet ready that's because we need to have some knowledge on the back end uh, development but like I said, we're going to be implementing there the authentication by using the Firebase, which provides us with a lot of tools such as authentication and real time database. With the authentication, we will be able to log in with several services like google account twitter or facebook or even just email and password we also going to process payment on the upcoming series after the authentication series so stay tuned and keep watching for this channel okay without any further ado let's start generating our project we're gonna need routing and I'm gonna be using the SCSS now let's head to our project and start generating some components and services And the last thing I want to do, I want to install uh, both Bootstrap and the Fund Awesome package. And now we're going to head to our code editor to start working on our code. The first thing I'm going to go to the app and then the product model to create our class. I'm using the shorthand of defining properties in here you can use the traditional by defining the properties and use the this keyword to assign the values to the respective properties In our product service I can define an array of object called product which is going to be of type product is the class that we just defined and inside there I'm going to instantiating few objects 
I'm only going to be working with three objects. So we're going to be passing the values that we need. The image URL is in arrays, so we're going to be having three different photos for that. And we are going to install like the physical photos in our asset folder later in the course. And now it's time to define the get product method to return uh, our products. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to work on our routes. This just means that if we are in the home page, we want to go to the product components. And if we are in the products, we'll, we're still going to be seeing the products. The last thing is this product has an ID attached to it. If, if it is, then we're going to be going to the product individual product that we're going to be seeing in there. Okay, in our app HTML, we're going to get rid of everything and try to get a template of navigation from the bootstrap website. You can uh, code your own just for the purpose of this course. We want to make it quickly. And we also need to import the bootstrap framework. Since I'm using the font awesome, I'm going to use some of the uh, icons that they provided to us and make sure that you import it into your style.scss or CSS. And the router outlet is where our page is, is going to be displayed. In H uh, A anchor, we're going to be using the router link to navigate to the specific page without refreshing the whole page. So whatever ID for now we put in there, we just going to be navigated to the product. But later we're going to extract the ID to display a specific product. So in our products component in the TS file, we're going to define a property called products of type product and it's going to be an array. Initially it's going to be an empty array and in our constructor we're going to instantiate or inject our product service make sure you do import it in inside the ng on init lifecycle hook we're gonna assign the data returned from the get products to our product Now we can work on the products uh, data that we received. This is a bootstrap uh, grid system, which is if, if we say four, it means the, the whole page can be for three items. And inside other, we're going to loop through the products. We 
gonna display the image and the name the image URLs of the first image you don't see the image because you need to download them I already did that now make sure that your uh, pass or assign the array that we have with the image that we just downloaded okay now that we have everything is working we don't actually need the add to cart button in the product list so we can get rid of that and we gonna be adding an anchor element to the product name so we can click on it and go to the specific product for that we're gonna be using uh, the router link and we're gonna be using the different version which is gonna be an array we, we pass we pass the product ID whenever we navigate to the product is page okay now as you can see we have the ID of one here if you go to the next one it's going to be ID 2 and so on so now we're going to define another method we call it just get product is going to return only one single product based on the ID that we receive For that we're going to iterate through the products to find that specific item or product that equal to the ID that we pass. Now in our product component we're going to do the same as products by defining property instantiate the service class and assign the data received to our product property this time we're going to need an ID for that we need to define the ID here the way we get the ID is through uh, the activated route that angular provided us with make sure you do import it from the angular uh, router now we're gonna say this route dot snapshot dot params and inside the bracket we're gonna get the ID this ID name must be the same as the one we have in our routing module And now we're going to pass the ID to the get product method. <laughs> 